I'm Lynn Staley, and I'm going to be briefly discussing the first 15 years of Global Health Organization. And I'm the founder of the organization and also the volunteer executive director. The 9-11 event was critical in terms of establishing our project. It was a tragedy, created ideas, what we're going to do to make the world better. It wasn't a military solution, which has been validated in terms of its appropriateness. But we thought there ought to be a humanitarian organization which would lead to a better quality of life for people that would incre increase the harmony in the world. The founding principles, therefore, were to be develop a global help with help education using low-cost publications. It would be non-political, humanitarian, would value diversity, would emphasize children's help, and publications which are affordable, relevant, effective, creating sustainability, and be entirely non-commercial. The first project was a clubfoot book called The Red Book, uh, helping people to um, change children's uh, lifetime by correcting their club feet early. And this book has been very effective, and it's been uh, printed uh, tens of thousands of times and used around the world. And it's uh, been selected by the Blue Trunk Library and the WHO's uh, collection. It's one of the best books available. And since 2010, we've had booklets that have been downloaded 600,000 times in the English language and 2.3 million times in all 30 languages. It's been very effective because it's been very colorful, graphic, engaging, and also inexpensive and, and very, uh, very uh, helpful in terms of giving specific guidelines. Another example was the, was the pre-med pre pre student uh, uh, that went to Nepal to develop a, a book on, club, on the management of burn contractures. She was a pre-med student and we teamed up with the doctors there to figure out how best to manage these contractures, which are common in the country because kids would fall in the fire and they learned to experience. And she worked with them to create this wonderful book called The Help Guide to Burn Contracture Management in the Developing World. It's had over 200,000 downloads in two languages. We think this is a model for the future. Kelly is now a plastic surgery resident, and despite and is including the hand of thousands of children she helps, she's now really changed her directory. Uh, trajectory of her life based on this experience. The next uh, major event was of African pediatric surgery book where 150 authors got together and created a book of 155 chapters detailing the management of the most common problems of Africa that were dealt with in, in pediatric surgery and was very excellent and, but could not find a publisher because there was no money in it. There was no profit in doctors uh, buying books in Africa. So they asked us if we would take it on, which we reviewed the book and found that it was excellent as they did and agreed to take it on. And now we have the book as well, worldwide used, and 700,000 copies downloaded, and we have 1,000 printed copies. We also started the uh, uh, Global Health Digital Library, taking all of our books and putting them on one DVD and making it available for a dollar. And now we're doing that in thumb drive so we can include all our videos. Expanding focus on video education with the inspiration of Salman Khan and the Khan Academy. And uh, using his one real schoolhouse for the world concept, we could develop that in medicine. And we, the principle is that you learn by watching videos and then in class discuss topics and ask questions. This um, model has been <clears throat> proven to be successful and utilizes a very simple video uh, uh, design uh, uh, um, uh, features. Samples of videos of Global Help. We have this video made at Children's Hospital. We have a lot of them made there. And we have uh, uh, a video made in Chile uh, with uh, teaching the mother how to put on a pallet harness on their infants. You can review this on YouTube if necessary. Or uh, for doctors down there to uh, learn how to do an examination of the hip for a child with Perthes disease. We have a new POA website in Spanish and the subsite in English. We have um, the master site, which is our global health organization website, and then pediatric orthopedic subsite specialist to cover the co especially within that within that domain, and so it makes the navigation much easier. And we also have a Spanish uh, sister site, which has been <clears throat> equally even, perhaps even more effective. We've had a massive user massive user expansion recently, a 19 million downloads of the PDF material. We have uh, 180 titles, uh, 200 videos. Uh, nearly every country in the world has participated, and we have 35 different languages. 
Uh, look at the numbers over the United last decade. See dramatic increase. And we thought at one time if we got to a thousand or a million, we'd be thrilled, but now we're at nearly at 20 million. And why is that? There's probably a lot of reasons. But one of the reasons is that most of them have these problems on the left side showing. And on the right hand side, you see the global help has free access, open access, no, no ads or promotions, no requests for email addresses, and are most importantly, our material is authoritative and useful. And we're looking towards the future. We're making changes now in leadership. <clears throat> we have a new president, uh, Lana Staley, who is the co-founder of Global Health Organization and also has a, has a doctorate degree herself. And we have a board chair uh, and also an excellent board. So we have an excellent leadership for the new round. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, contact me at staleyuw.edu.